Well, hi there. I'm Pam. Welcome to Stocking Up and Spending List. The way I grocery shop is I like to stock up, but, but I stock up a little bit each week based upon what's on sale for that week. And plus, I also shop for things I currently need, such as produce, household items, whatever. This week at Cub, they have some really good deals on items. They're digital coupons. Put them on your card. Don't forget to watch for the limits. And you can get some items that you may be looking for and stocking up on some great deals too. Here this week, I did get some of the pop that's on sale. I skipped the sugar and the bread because I have those items. And don't forget, you can look for manufacturer coupons too on these items if you have that. I did get the salary for 99 cents. That's a good deal because I do need produce. And the chips for $1.99 each. Otherwise, they're over $4 a bag. That is too much. And then it goes into their regular ad. The store also offers weekend deals. These deals come out on Friday, put them on your card, and then you have the weekend to use them. Bagels for a dollar each. There's a limit of two of those. That's fine. I don't need bread products right now, but I can freeze that. And then they also have their version of um, their store brand is essentially every day. Peanut butter, jelly, jams, and preserves, 50% off. And then that's a great way to stock up on those items too. I did find two jellies that were $1.99 and then I got them for 50% off of that too. So amazing deal. I didn't get any peanut butter because I do have a huge jar of peanut butter in my pantry. The other store I went to this week is Target. I wanted to get a few household items here and also I have a $15 gift card from a previous purchase. I wanted to take advantage of that and use that too. The ads to me this week overall weren't really that good so I'm just going to kind of pick and choose a few things to stock up on and um, look for some produce. So let's see what I found here. If you shop at Target does your store do this deal where they have weekend deals too. Like here we have um, some extra savings for the weekend. These I think go up on Wednesday and they're good for just a couple days. I like the fact that Target puts out this sneak peek ad. You can take a look at this and if there's some things on your list that will be going on sale, maybe you just wait and get that next week. Like for instance, I really wanted to buy more of the Good and Gather items, but I see that they're going on sale for 15% off the Target Circle app next week. So I'm just going to wait and get those items in because for me, it's worth the extra 15% off to just wait a week and get them next weekend. And then I'll use my Target Red card to save another 5%. So really, I'll be saving 20% by just waiting to buy my canned goods or whatever it is I wanted to buy a few days later. So I don't really think it's worth it to go out and feel like I need to panic buy to buy all this stuff. I can still buy things to stock up on and find some things that I need for the current week. And I'm not spending a ton of money. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the idea of stocking up and spending less. I was quite happy to find some of the great deals that are on sale this week at Cub. My favorite deals are the, the weekend deals. Let's see the jam. That was $1.99, but 50% off makes it only a um, dollar. And then the bagels, that was another dollar item. A lot of dollar items here. The race, that was 10 for 10, but you don't need to buy the 10 to get the savings, so I just bought two of those. The frozen veggies, let's see how they get four bags of those for a dollar each. Celery was um, 99 cents this week, and I think my favorite deal over here was on the french fries. They're $2 a bag this week, but I put that coupon on my card for uh, Bogo, so there I got two bags for two dollars, which is an amazing deal. Otherwise, it's three forty nine a bag. Another really good deal was on the chips; those are a dollar ninety nine. Otherwise, they're four nineteen each. That's too much for chips. So going on to more deals that I found: cottage cheese. So that was on my list, but I was happy to see it was on sale, and I didn't realize it. So a dollar nineteen each 
for each of those. The sliced cheese was $3.49 and the Catalina dressing, I can't remember what that was. Let's see, right offhand. And I'm missing the two bottles of the Pepsi. I did buy two liter bottles of Pepsi for 99 cents each. At Target, I just wanted to get a few things for produce, garden salad, and a little salad kit. So bananas, 44 cents a pound at Target, which is the cheapest I've noticed in our area. The little blueberries are on sale, $4.99 for the weekend. Some hard salami, but a produce deal was the grapes. I haven't bought grapes for quite a while, and it looks like down the bottom there's a few that are bad, but I'll have to sort through that. Let's see. Another produce item was the baked potatoes. Otherwise, some junk food things too, I have to admit. Some cookies, a couple different kinds of soda. Then, of course, you gotta brush your teeth and I need some toothpaste. Just went with a double pack there on that. Paper plates, a couple of cleaners, an air freshener, the Febreze. These are $12.99 for a three pack. Kind of expensive, but they smell really good. And then also some Lysol cleaner and um, with this little barkeeper's friend. That's a good product for the price. Applesauce and then just some yogurts for the week. But just buying a few things here and there. I don't really need all these things right now. But stocking up a little bit each week is a good way to find some things that you need for the current week and some things for the future too. I'm Pam and I enjoy stock up videos, but I don't enjoy spending a lot. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.